Hey everyone, I wanted to show you probably one of the most amazing lessons I ever had and it wasn't even an instrument, it was percussion and this percussion lesson just taught me how to be coordinated and I'll show you how it works so my legs I use as my rhythm section so my left foot is just doing four beats this is four four time it's going one, two, three, four and my right foot does a two and the four three four one two three four just practice that and then just do on the two two three four taking out the one two three four and then joining in again two three four getting used to that and then taking away the, the two on the four and you can add your right hand so this is going to be doing the uh, it's called eighth note, so it's one and two and three and four and I just tap that on my leg. One and two and three and four and one and you can join it with a two and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. Or you can just one and two and three and four and take that away. So there's all these different options here. And the fun part is I'm going to show you how they work as a one-man band. So instead of tapping this, I'm just going to pick strings. One and two and three and four and... Or strum that rhythm. One and two and three and... So I'll set up back there. I'll just open this up a bit more so you can see me. But I'll show you how my one-man band works using these simple rhythms. Because they're so fun. Alright, left foot's got the beat. Two, three, four. One, two, four, one. Now this is gonna alternate with these strings. One. So one and two and three and four and How fun is that? So as you can see, I'm um, looked at it as being very coordinated, but I just break things down simply so I don't have to think about them anymore. And my body knows how to do simple rhythms and know how to break things down and put things in, take things out. But you can practice these rhythms all over the place. If you're making dinner and you got something, say you in the breakfast time, you put toast on, just sit down and play around with doing this with the different parts of your body. And in description, I'll just put down the different things you can practice and then the ultimate of doing all three together. There is a fourth, but I won't add that yet. That comes soon. All right. Well, let me know how you go with this as the more coordinated you are, the easier playing music is because music takes coordination no matter what you're doing because you're always doing two things at the same time. You're breathing, you're playing, you're strumming, you're moving. So the more coordinated you are, the easier you'll find things. So just doing exercises like this is going to be really, really helpful for becoming a more confident musician. So 
Let me know how you go. Have fun.